hello everyone in this video what i'm going to show you is how you can define a function in mathematica and how you can find derivatives and integrals of a function so let's get started so we have a function f of x equals to x squared equals to x squared To define that function, you'll have to write f of x, x inside the square bracket, and after x, write underscore. So, always remember that to define a function, you have to give underscore. So, press shift enter, so the function gets defined. Now, I don't want to see the output, so let's give a semicolon at the end. Now, I want to call this function, so I want to know what f of 2 is. So, I have to write f of 2. In this case, I don't have to give the underscore. So, to call a function, uh, we don't have to give underscore. Always remember that. Let's take another function. Um, Say so g of x uh, equals to sine of x. So, I want to know what g of 30 degrees. Say x equals to 30 degree. Well, let's take theta, not x. Let's change the x to theta. So to write theta, press escape button and then write theta in all small letters and again press escape button. So to know the value of this function for theta equals to 30 degree, we may want to write sine 30. So let's write, write sine 30 and see what happens. So g of 30, if we press shift enter, you see, I don't get any output. I just get sine 30. The reason is, anything you write inside the square bracket of trig function, Mathematica reads them as radian. So, Mathematica is showing output for sine 30 radian. Also, Mathematica doesn't read integer value for radians. So, you have to give floating point numbers, 30.0. So, now it's showing the uh, value of sine 30 radian. So, you have to write radian as floating point numbers or uh, write radian in terms of pi. But here, I don't want to know what sine 30 radian is. I want to know what sine 30 degree is. So, I have to convert this 30 degree to radian. To do that, I have to write sine uh, 30 pi by 180, which is pi by 6 basically. So, if I press shift enter, I can see the value of sine 30 degree. Also, I could write uh, degree explicitly inside this square bracket. So, to write degree after 30, press escape button and then write deg and, and again press escape button. So, then if you press shift enter, you can see that it still gives half. Now, let's define a function of two variables, say z of x and y. To define that, we have to write uh, x underscore comma y underscore inside the square bracket. Say the function is x square y. So x square is space and y. So let's see the value of the function for x equals to 2 and y equals to 3. So I have to write z. In the inside the square bracket, we have to write 2 comma 3. If we press shift enter, we can see the value of the function. We can also find domain and range of a function. For domain, Mathematica will give all possible real inputs. So let's take that function uh, g of theta equals to sine theta. So let's find the domain of this function. So, to find the domain, we have to write function domain and inside the function, I say the square bracket, we just have to write g of theta. So, g of theta, square bracket, theta inside the square bracket. And we have to give the argument, which is theta. 
and if we press shift enter we see true so if we see true that means the function the domain of the function is a set of all real numbers we know that the domain of sine theta is all real numbers so let's now find the range of the function so to find the range of the function we have to write a function range and inside the square bracket uh, we have to again write g of theta comma theta and now uh, we have to write say uh, the output is y so y equals to sine theta we have to know the range of y then so if we press shift enter we see uh, the range of y is from minus 1 to 1 so we know that the range of sine theta is from minus 1 to 1 now let's take a function where the domain is not all real numbers let's change g of theta let's take sine theta by theta so we can see that the theta cannot be zero here so if you find the domain now we'll have to press shift enter uh, in the function cell to define that if you press shift enter now we can see that the domain is uh, theta less than zero or theta greater than zero so theta cannot be zero let's see the range of the function now well let's take the numerical value so we have to uh, do double slash and capital n so you can see the range now well let's change the function again let's take a uh, square root of theta in the denominator then we know that the theta cannot be negative also so if we if find the domain now the domain uh, is only greater than zero theta greater than zero and the range we can also find the range well uh, that's all i wanted to talk about the function uh, let's do some calculus now let's write calculus here so to write in text mode you have to do alter 7 and uh, let's look at for example limits uh, well let's delete all the functions we have defined so far because i want to define a new function to do that i will have to write clear all and inside the square bracket give inverted comma write global and then a back tick which is below the escape button and then asterisk sign close the inverted comma close the square bracket so the new function g of x is uh, sign x by x I want to know the limit of this function when x goes to 0. So to know the limit, uh, I'll have to write a limit. So write limit and in the square bracket, uh, write the function g of x, then give a comma and x goes to uh, 0. Hyphen and greater than sign to write the arrow so x goes to 0 so uh, if we press shift enter now we'll get 1 because we know that the limit of this function is 1 when x approaches 0 well you can also write the limit symbol just go to basic math assistant from the palettes and then if you go to calculus uh, here uh, we can find the limit uh, it's probably uh well it's in the right corner here so you can see that the symbol of limit so let's uh, take another expression you must be familiar with this expression let's take one plus uh one divided by x to the power x here x approaches infinity escape button i n f and then again escape button 
to write the infinity so if you press shift enter now what should you get we get exponential e so this is the definition of exponential e so this limit is the reason why uh, this number is the base of natural logarithm and this will tell you why the derivative and integral of e to the power x is e to the power x so let's move on uh, now let's find the derivative of a function so to find the derivative we have to use the capital d and inside the square bracket uh, let's uh, write the function g of x uh, i want to find the derivative of this function so write g of x and the argument is x so give a comma and write the argument and here is the derivative of the function well it's not necessary to use the function we can also use the expression inside the uh, derivative and also inside the limit so let's copy paste the expression and still we can see the result uh, we can do the same uh, with limit also we can also find the second derivative of this function to do that just write x comma 2 and keep that inside curly braces so this is the second derivative this way i can find any higher order derivatives we can also find partial derivative using this derivative function so let's first define a multivariable function say z of x y x underscore y underscore to define that so the function is x to the power of 4 sine y to find the partial derivative write d and inside the uh, function write z of x y i want to differentiate this function uh, with respect to x thrice and with respect to y twice so give a comma and again in the curly braces write y comma 3 y comma 2 and if you press shift enter we can see the output the partial derivative of this function now let's see how we can integrate in mathematica so to integrate uh, we can use the integrate function and inside the square bracket let's take that uh, g of x function we have defined earlier it's a complicated function let's see what is the antiderivative of this function we want to integrate with respect to x so comma x if you press shift enter well uh, it's a very complicated output it's a special function sine integral function well let's take a simple function inside integrate uh, let's take natural logarithm of x so log x so this is the indefinite integral of log x well let's do a definite integral now so let's integrate this function from 1 to 2 so we are integrating log x with respect to x from 1 to 2 So here is the definite integral. We can also use an integrate. This does not only give the numerical value because there are a lot of functions which do not have antiderivatives. So we cannot solve them analytically. We'll have to find the integrals numerically. So in those cases, we have to use an integrate. Say for example, Let's integrate x to the power x. Let's see what we get. So, Mathematica doesn't give any output because this uh, function uh, does not have any antiderivative. So, we have to solve this numerically. So, if we give an integrate, we get a numerical value.
you can also use the integrate sign uh, so for uh, indefinite integral press escape button write i and t t and then again press the escape button uh, now we can do the indefinite integral say i want to integrate x cube with respect to x so dx so if you press shift enter we get x to the power 4 by 4 now for definite integral uh, press escape button and write d i n t t for definite integral and then again press escape button now say i want to integrate the same function from 0 to 2 x cube dx So if we press shift enter now we'll get four so that's all see you in the next lecture